Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did the insertion lace on this project. This is actually a super easy technique and it looks really impressive and professional. The first thing to do is find where you want the lace to go. I'm sort of eyeballing this. Luckily for me, this is a patterned fabric, so I can just follow the patterns along. I spent far too much of this project working out where I was going to cut by figuring out exactly how much I was going to decapitate the little gnomes that are in the pattern. So that's nice. Then it's quickly over to the ironing board and what you're going to do is press under a very tiny hem. But about a sixteenth of an inch is good, two sixteenths is fine. You could easily measure this and mark it out properly and do this very in a very precise way, but you've met me. And then you do the same thing on the corresponding edge of the other piece. Then it's just a case of lining up the edge of your lace. You want something that's got a straight border to it and stitching it on right at the folded edge of the fabric. The correct way of doing this, which you can see me doing here, is to use a zigzag stitch and to position it so that the rightmost edge of the zigzag stitch sort of falls off the edge of the fabric and goes through the lace. This didn't work out so well for me because my sewing machine hates zigzag for some reason and kept skipping stitches, breaking threads, otherwise generally being totally useless. For the bigger insertion lace I did on this same project, I actually just used a straight stitch and that seemed to work fine. This is not helping my theory that running stitches really are the one true way and anything else is kind of superfluous. Then you just flip the work around Line up the free edge of the lace with the folded edge of the other piece of fabric and do the exact same thing. I figure in this case the verbal description is considerably less useful than the actual images of me doing it, so what I'm doing here, do that. Here's the final result. As you can see, the zigzag stitches really didn't work for me and I think Partially this is accuracy and partially this is just my machine. And then this is the lace that I did with the straight stitch and that turned out much nicer. I did a couple of test pieces for this and I honestly wish I'd done more. It might have come out much neater on the final dress if I'd put a little bit more time into preparation. And that's it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, check out my Kofi if you'd like to see more sewing content in the future, and I will see you next time.